Hello everyone and welcome to another Tears Day here at All Things Futhark. I'm your host Eric. This week we are talking about creating Biden runes. Creating bind rune, the first thing that, in my opinion, you need to think of or think about and decide on is what you want your bind rune to be specifically for. I think creating a bind rune for each individual ritual or purpose is the, f the foremost thing you need to know before you even get started with creating it. So, I gave this topic a little bit of thought, and uh, I don't create bind rooms just because they're helpful. I actually feel that creating one is asking for <clears throat> asking for trouble if you're doing it nonchalantly. So I thought about it, and one of the things that I need to do, and I'm actually going to show you in this video how I create the bind room I'm going to be making is I decided that I need a little bit of, uh, not necessarily motivation, but I need some help at work, both with protection and finding joy in my work again. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, at the end of this video, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the down below parts. And uh, other than that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I'm uh, going to do here is I have a card. What I like to do, uh, especially when it's something that I need to be able to reference on a regular basis, I like to be able to carry it with me. So I use a standard blank 3 by well, it's not even 3 by 5 it's, it's a standard business card size card. Now I use these for my rune readings. When, I'm, when I finish a reading in person, I'll fill out this card, put the rune reading. It's... I put information on here so everybody can reference that information and take it with them in their wallet or purse or whatnot. So when I do a bind rune, I also like to do the same thing for myself in I will put the bind rune on the front and then flip it over and put information on the back for myself to reference the point of the bind rune and what it's supposed to be helping me do. One of the things that you're going to want to take into consideration is as you're writing your bind rune, as you're creating your bind rune, if you need to do a uh, primary draft, a rough draft before you put it on whatever you're going to be, um, whatever you're going to be taking with you, you can just grab a piece of eleven, you know, eight and a half by eleven paper, standard notebook paper, write it out, work with it until you're happy with it, and then use that shape in the ritual itself. Now what I like to do is, personally, I like to go with my first instinct. And when I go with my first instinct, I will decide on the runes, usually two or three, usually in my, in my personal experience, more than three is too many. So I will go and I will decide the first thing I need is stability. Okay, I want to be certain that my job is going to be there for me, so I will start with Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on a piece of paper, which I happen to have with me. It's not a problem. I want stability in my job, so I will start with urus, and then I will draw urus out. And I'm not actually doing the mad. The, you know, I'm not using the runes right now. I'm getting the aesthetics so that I can like it when I'm done. So I want stability, and I want joy. So then perhaps I will, and when I do a bind rune, I draw the entire rune each time. So I want joy. So I will draw out Wunjo. I also feel the need to have algae for protection and the strength and flexibility that comes with that so that I can, I can have a good day at work anytime I desire or need so I will also draw out algies. And that seems to be my bind room. Now, I don't know how well you can see this. I'll zoom in a little bit.
and this is more or less my binder. So now that I have the aesthetics of it down, I will move this out of the way. And I'll say a little evocation in my head or out loud for you guys. Since I work with Odin, I'll probably be using him as, him as my deity. <sighs> Odin, by your wisdom, well, by your wisdom and by your spear, allow me the power to protect and to change myself to achieve those things I desire. By Urus, I seek stability and the knowledge that things shall not change unless I will unless I will them so. Oh, didn't I seek to find the joy that I have lost? Please allow me to carry that joy with me, that I may hold it in my heart. Odin, I seek for you to watch over me, cast your spear across my army, bring safety into my life that I may be protected and safe. As the ancient Celts did say, Bushayawi, Hail Savodin. Now this part not everybody does, but this is something that I do. Now that the ritual is over and this bind rune is created, I will actually go through and put my maker's mark. My maker's mark is simply a bind rune of my initials. So... And now that I have that, I will flip it over and you guys don't have to really watch me write this part down. But what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what I'm after in this. And then once I'm finished with that, I'll go ahead and go over it with a marker or something so that it makes it a little bit bolder. Uh, if I don't feel that I need to do that, I won't go over it again. But in going over it again, I may wind up just concentrating on the specific individual runes that I put into it and then uh, trying to use my own energy and my own desire and will to uh, to just solidify those lines that I've that I've laid out and create the bind rune internally so that it's easier for me to recognize what it's supposed to be doing every time I look at it. So yeah. two more things. I hope that the uh, I hope that the bind rune that I just showed you was helpful and, and that it kind of gave you an idea as to how to create your own. And really it's only limited in your imagination and your actual understanding of the runes. Uh, there are several other different variations that I could have used but I found that using those three runes seems to be, especially in this instance, seems to be more appropriate for the situation. Uh, but the two more things is next week we'll, we will be covering a little bit more in rune magic and using runes for magic. Uh, this was a specific example. I believe this was from Rose Gypsy who, who asked this. I may be wrong and if I am I'm so very sorry. Uh, but this was a fantastic suggestion and I wanted to, we wanted to show you guys specifically how we how we create our, create our own bind runes. Now the last thing, of course, is going to be the announcement. As of next week, we will be having another sub, or we'll, we will be ex um, introducing our first substitute for all things Futhark. 
Uh, some of you may know him, some of you may not. Uh, congratulations to Michael Dunlap. We're going to be taking you on as our first substitute. He will be substituting until, uh, because as, as many of you have noticed, Jess has not had the opportunity to, to post on Mondays like she uh, initially was intending to. So uh, Michael will be taking over until Jess has things a little bit more in order. And again, congrats, congratulations, Michael. Welcome aboard. And we look forward to seeing videos from you in the future. Uh, next week, he will be posting a, uh, we're going to have him post a uh, uh, getting to know you type video, an introduction video, if you will. And uh, you guys can go check out his page. It's the Michael Dunlap Show. It's uh, YouTube user Michael Dunlap Show. Um, I'll put a link in the below bits. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. And of course, until next time, Odin be with you.